Paul Sumayao. I'm Jedi Director and we're owners of Barbira Barber Shop here in the Barbira. Barbira is a wordplay between Barbie, which is kind of also a slur, no? um, especially some mga effeminate gays. But there was a viral video that came out na sabi ko na nga ba Barbie, parang there was a na may batang pumili ng Barbie. We kind of led with that. And Barbie has always been associated with kabaklaan. And then we also paired it with Barbero, which is you know the Filipino um, term for for barbers. Sabi nila, haircuts are generally historically gendered. No? Barbershops are for men, salons are for women. And that's what Barbera is for. Um, we wanted to create that conversation. Na hindi kailangan, you know, may gender distinction ang, ang haircuts ng babae at lalaki or anyone in between. Coming from personal experience, I would take two brothers to, to the barber shop. Kahit out and proud ako nun sa Camarines where I was young, I was in my teens. Still, it's uncomfortable because parang they would look at me. I had to sort of scale down um, the way I look in this na I would go for the floral prints. Pagpupunta kami sa barbero ng kapambahayan, maluwag na basketball shorts. So I would borrow from uncles or, or cousins. That level of discomfort pa lang, without even someone initiating it, it's really, you know, um, kind of a horrific experience na parang nagagaling sa loob. Oh, it's really more trying to act, you know, boyish, diba? Kasi parang that's, parang that's how you want to get treated normally, diba? Parang I, w I was always conscious of, you know, not trying to be too effeminate. Nung bata ako, conscious ako doon, kasi parang may, may, may uncles, may titas would always call me out on that. Diba? Kasi parang dapat lalaki ganito. Being a safe space essentially means that you're able to become your authentic self um, within that space. Because if my space is not hindi safe for you, then of course you'd actually essentially look for, for a safe space. We would encounter customers, especially the trans masculine customers. They kind of like the fact that we address them properly, especially yung mga, you know, the trans masculine lesbians. They kind of like the fact that they address them as sir or, or boss or chief. Kind of a horrifying stories, uh, story for them. Na pag pumunta sila ng salon, ma'am. Pag pumunta sa barbershop, ma'am pa din. May mga customers kami who would open Engage. up. Na sila mismo yung nag-open up. And that's how we liked it. Kasi the fact that they're opening up, that's a good sign for us na we're doing our job as, as a safe space. Yung training talaga eh, kanay, eh, pinaka-tumatak sa isip ko doon yung ano, parang discrimination. Lahat ng nakakasalumuha mo, hindi mo pala alam yung tunay na gender, ganun. Baba parang rin, respect mo lang. We're trying to think about like parang what a queer barber shop should actually look like. Basically, we we kind of like settled on the idea na it doesn't really have to parang show its queerness right off the bat. But announcing ourselves as queer owners who welcome anybody, diba, in this safe space. Yeah. Yun, it's enough. 